All right, guys, welcome back to Survival Living here. So, as you guys know, we try to prepare as much as possible for a grid down situation, massive power outages. One of the things that we try to discuss and try to show you is building your own solar grid. Now, having a standalone solar grid that's not even hooked up to a home is still, in my opinion, one of the best things to have. All right, you're a renter or whatever, and you can't get permission to hook up inside your home or some of the locations that you're at, you're not allowed to due to permits and things like that. Having a standalone system that you build that you just go over, flip on, it's kind of like a generator. You got power, you just run an extension cord to whatever it is that you're trying to run. So, guys, we have been using flood acid batteries. Here's a photo of our old system. We've been playing with these ideas for several years now. We even wired up a home with it using breaker boxes and everything else. And we were limited. Uh, quite frankly, big old flood acid batteries, I believe we're using the AGM batteries, are heavy. They're at like 70 pounds. All right. You get anywhere from seven to 10 life years of life out of a battery. And we've been wanting to look into more lithium ion lipo fours. Uh, for our solar grid, something that's more technology advanced, something that lasts longer and weighs less. So we were contacted by a company, um, Lee Time, and I was looking at their products and I'm like, you know what? I really would like to make the step in changing our solar grid, updating it to better equipment. So we got a couple things here. First up is a 60 amp MPPT solar charge controller. Now, this box is empty because I've already got it all hooked up for you guys. Same with this box right here. <laughs> this is a big old battery. Well, not in that box anymore. That's an empty box. That is a uh, 12 volt, uh, 230 amp hour battery. It's a LiPo 4 system. And we are out with the old, in with the new. Yeah, we are upgrading our system slowly but surely, but with lead time i i really like their products and i want to work with them further into the future because everything i've seen and what i've got to use so far has been great so let's run on out back outside so yeah very easy to install guys it came with a mounting bracket kit um all i did was uh run my screws in measured everything out set it on the wall lock it in place four uh, screw holes on the back side of this thing works amazing uh, now I have done videos on our solar grid before and we are upgrading as much as possible now this is a MPPT charge controller a 60 amp system that's a real one so on Amazon I had purchased an MPPT solar charge controller that's a uh, that's a huge difference. It really is. This is not a real one right here. This one for lead time is real. We've been using these smaller boxes for years now. You know, this is like a 40, supposedly 40 amp. This is a 60 amp. I, I don't know guys, maybe you can tell me the difference. <laughs> this thing's massive, weighs about 11 pounds. It's got Bluetooth technology in it where you can actually use your phone should be a pop-up here for you guys. You can actually visually see what's going on with your system. So what we got here, guys, let me go through a couple of things and bring the camera a little close so you can see the settings and stuff like that on this system. All right, so we are actually using 12 volt. Uh, these are 12, 24, 36, and 48 volt. Up here on the uh, digital display, guys, we are 13.7 volts. Solar is hooked up to the charge, to the batteries. Uh, I do not have a DC load hooked up right now because we have inverters and stuff. And green lights for the solar, green light for the battery. Again, there's no DC and there's no error. So checking this out, guys, you can scroll through. Battery is at 100%. Uh, we are currently pulling 19.1 amps from the solar panels we got hooked up right now. I have four 100 watt solar panels currently hooked up. We have pulled 458 watt hours so far. That is not what the panels are pulling right now. That is what we've got on since we've hooked everything up. 82 degrees. It does have a 
temperature sensor that is plugged in says that the battery is at 78 uh, I'm sorry the MPPT is at 78 the battery is at 82 degrees uh, there are no error codes that's where you go to find your error codes and it's going through what the battery would show you know you draw and everything using the DC load and stuff like that right now nothing's being drawn uh, 15 volts is currently what the panels are producing 13.7 volts coming in 100% so back again this is the overall power watt hours that has been produced by the solar panel so far here on my phone real time the four solar panels I've got up are producing 263 watts so yeah, there's only 400 watts being hooked up right now they're actually only producing 262 and that's what happens when you get solar sometimes you get higher numbers and sometimes you don't so to actually increase the number of your wattage off your solar panel you just got to get better quality um, solar panels I don't know if I got to show you the heat sink back here this is a massive heat sink on this thing like I said this thing weighs roughly uh, 11 pounds you got your cables here uh, these are my cables coming in from the solar positive negative battery positive negative and that's DC currently we have hooked up we have one of our EMP shield charge controllers a dual charge controller because we are going to expand this system and get two of these so I'll be using both the hookups on that and we got our lugs this is our power this is our negative we don't have the um, covers on just yet because I just got finished wiring this up today actually of course our inverter got hooked up powered up like I said we use those lugs makes it easier to actually organize a little bit better uh, plenty of manuals the charge controller and also the battery came with his own manual and speaking of battery this is what we got right now this is a lifetime lipo 4 12.8 volt 230 amp hour battery and it is smart bluetooth 5.0 that's how we're able to use our cell phone just to pull it right up and take a look at what's going on with the system without having to come all the way out here to check what that's reading i just pulled up on my cell phone so yeah everything seems to be working great of course uh, we are improving and building a much larger system i really like the lifetime products they are they're heavy duty i mean since i've been using it hooking everything up everything's been working great um the app for the bluetooth for your uh, monitoring everything for your cell phone works excellent as well so like i said a lot of warranty paperwork uh instruction manuals warranty cards um, they even got everything from mounting everything's in here and they even included stickers ha, that's pretty cool it actually came with a battery uh so guys if you're interested in upgrading like like i said we're upgrading our system we used uh flood acid lead batteries that blew their agms uh the way like oh my god like 70 pounds for 100 amp hour batteries this new batteries that we have now uh 230 amp hours it uh weighs like nearly nothing i uh, pick it up one hand set it in place so when you're trying to expand and get larger yeah you need weight weight really does count it really does and having a higher quality charge controller uh, i've been eyeballing the mppts for many years and like i said we use the cheap ones to begin with i've had a lot of them fail and you know they were cheaper of course they are but they didn't last very long and this here i'm looking at this the huge difference between a real mppt versus ones that claim they are yeah if you're gonna do it do it right if you guys are interested definitely check out the links uh, below in the description We've got a lot of great products there um we're actually gonna be trying to work even more with lead time on some of their other products that they have because we want to change our entire grid and use their products to build what we need natural disaster alone having power is very important shtf moments where the grid's down what are you going to do yes gasoline generators solar generators all these things are great having a standalone grid 
that's what this is a standalone grid it's not even hooked up to our house it is hooked up in here I run extension cord right to our charge um, our inverter and then run whatever appliances we want to use think that's the other box guys having a standalone system is a pretty great idea all right speak to y'all later